Hello and welcome to Nokia's 5G Technology Experience Center in Budapest. My name is Praveen Bali. I lead product management for our SDM portfolio at Nokia Core Networks. Today, I would like to tell you about the evolution of Nokia's subscriber data management to 5G. I will also show you an easy way to migrate subscriber data to the 5G shared data layer. SDM is a critical component of 5G core networks because it manages all subscriber data for all technologies from 2G, 3G, 4G, and 5G. With 5G technology, many new use cases will emerge and thereby generates new requirements towards the networks. This calls for a very robust, flexible, highly available, and performant data layer that is UDR network function, which we call shared data layer in Nokia. Nokia's SDL is a cloud-native central data repository servicing legacy as well as 5G applications. In addition to UDR, SDM also includes Unified Data Management or UDM, which supports the generation of authentication credentials, participates in user identification handling, access authorization, and subscription management. The authentication server function, which is co-located with the UDM, is responsible for authentication part. The most critical step for evolving to cloud-native 5G architecture is to migrate live subscriber data to the new repository, which is SDL. To help achieve this, Nokia offers assisted and tool-based migration in the shape of SDL Assistant. The SDL Assistant is also supports additional use cases, for example, performing audits of the system, generating revenue-generating assurance reports, subscriber rebalancing in SDL, and health check reports. Now let's look at an example to show how SDL Assistant works in practice. Let me show how to migrate subscriber data from 1NDS to SDL. On the SDL Assistant screen, first select the task called Migration from 1NDS to SDL. Then the subtask Subscriber Migration to SDL. Now we simply choose which subscribers to migrate. The input is submitted as a CSV file that can be generated in several ways. Let's look more closely at how that works. Choose the parameter based search only option and select the parameters that fit your desired selection criteria. This creates a CSV file that can be used for migration. Now we can configure the source and the destination for our migration. Choose the extract and load subscribers option and add the correct source and destination. In this example, the source is 1NDS and the destination is SDL. Then we enter the required parameters for both source and destination, such as passwords, server addresses, and security levels. Finally, we define the type of migration reports we want. Now let's launch the job. And here you can see the result. The migration status is shown in the interface and in the graphs. We have now seen how operators can safely migrate subscribers from 1NDS to SDL in a very controlled and transparent manner. Yet that's not end of the story because SDL Assistant offers much more. There's a long lasting core solution that will become indispensable for monitoring and diagnosing your SDL and the data that is stored in. Thank you for watching.